I'm in grade six. I'm um, in seventh grade. I'm in eighth grade. Ninth grade. I'm a sophomore. Eleventh grade. Twelfth grade. I graduated in June. Okay. Pick a label that best describes you, and then we'll talk about it. Just one. Caring. I picked the label hardworking. I picked friendly. Yeah, I was nervous because I don't know what, what, what word to pick. It was, I don't know, a lot because I wanted to choose multiple words, but I only could choose one, so. I chose outgoing because that's just how people tell me that I am. People say I bring a smile to the room. I kind of see myself as artistic, but I kind of just thought it was normal to be like that. I picked the label confused because that's what I am right now. Expectations to me that aren't always met, and it's just like a lot of pressure all the time. Uh, I picked quiet. I was actually born with, the, uh, with a stutter. You know, when you see a like, quiet day, you start to assume things, and you know. On college forms or like applications, they always like like check which box like applies to you the most. You can label someone something and they could be that, but they are, are also other things. They're not just what you label them as. I feel like in society today, especially with teenagers, we try to put them in boxes. Okay, well this kid does good in school, so they're just gonna be smart and that's it. Like, and if they are, they just get a bad grade, then automatically they're not in that box anymore. They're moved to a completely different box. Or this kid is athletic, so they can't be smart. It's like, why can't I just be both? How did that feel, having to just pick one word? Um, I felt hard, like I was pressured. Are labels a good idea? Um. I don't think it's, well, not really. I don't really like labels. I don't want people thinking of me as like a certain label because I'm more than one thing. And I, I think about that for everyone else. I felt like it was limiting because there's a lot of words you can describe yourself as good and bad. And it, it's just hard choosing only one word. I'm gonna have you go back to the table again and this time you can pick three or four more words and we're gonna add them and then we're gonna talk about them. Ooh, okay. It explains a lot more. I like this one a lot better. When you asked me to pick my words, I was like, all right, yes, there we go. It feels like I have more of myself on the board. Not everything, but it has more of my traits and more of the qualities that I have, and it represents me a little bit more. I think people can be like two things that kind of like counteract with each other, like shy and outgoing, like those two things like aren't usually things that go together, but I think people can definitely be that. I think about it a lot. This also goes back to being a senior and like all my teacher rec forms, it's like, describe yourself in five words. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh, okay. Putting labels on people isn't necessarily fair because it doesn't get like the complexity of their character. Grown-ups don't even, sometimes don't even know their identity, you know? It changes the more you grow up. I'm like a little bit of everything, so everyone's like, oh no, she's that. They're like, no, I thought she was this. I'm everything. I know just recently I'm trying to figure out still who, like, more of who I am. It just shows that everything in front of you that she knows me is quiet, but then when you open the curtain, then you see all this stuff about me. Uh, that's the fool me. They're just like, wow, okay, this is, it's not like you. It's like, no, it's been me for a while. Now I'm just showing you who I am.